Good morning. It is oh 10 minutes till 7. My start time is typically 7.30, but I got here uh, at 6.30 this morning um, to help out. Help out a co-worker who was putting on an event today and tomorrow, a little conference. Um, we went to like a welcome reception last night. It was a lot of fun. Um, Anyway, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted, exhausted. I'll tell you later in the week why I'm so exhausted. I am actually going to try to do a week this week. I wanted to vlog this week because it's Administrative Professionals Week. And there are a lot of fun things planned for admins on campus today. I mean, this whole week. However, I don't think I'm going to get to participate in what's been planned today because... I'll be helping out um, at the other event, which we will have breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the other event. So I'll be going back and forth from that event to my desk today. So I wanted to get in early to kind of set my doctors up for the day because I kind of forgot I had to do this. It was just a, such a such a incredibly busy week last week. Um, so I wanted to get here this morning and make sure they have what they need. Plus, I need to send them the email, let them know that I would be away from my desk a lot today. Apparently, they've already been emailing me. Um, one of them started emailing me at 6.04, and the other one emailed me at 6.14. I'm like, are y'all talking? Did y'all wake up and call each other inside to take, email me? <laughs> anyway, what they want is not urgent. So... I will just do um, that when I get back because I have questions about both of those emails. Uh, I don't think they understand policy even though they've been working here way longer than me. <laughs> anyway, so I am going to kind of do a couple more things here at my desk and then I'm going to head downstairs and head over to the other building to e greet a bus of people <laughs> um, this morning. But anyway, I will bring you along as much as I can today and then we'll catch up in the evenings this week. It looks like it because are here it is so cold you guys i've had a cup of coffee today i don't feel like it worked at all um i typically don't drink coffee so whenever i do it works almost immediately um i do have some work to do <laughs> so i'm going to do some work <laughs> this morning i just got back to my desk from helping out over there it is five minutes till nine Whew, it's been a long day at nine o'clock. <laughs> it's 
Anyway, I want to do a couple of things I have to do today. Um, then one of my really good friends that I had before I um, started this job works here as well. I think I told you that in the last vlog. And um, I think I did tell you guys because I remember saying that um, she gave me the shirt I was wearing. Where she has more clothes for me today. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> she doesn't buy these clothes for me, just to clarify. She buys clothes and then she gets them and she goes, no, this looks more like Tracy than it does me. So then she gives it to me. <laughs> But anyway, today I look like a school mom, but I love this dress. <laughs> I'm like, I look like I'm supposed to be teaching third grade in the 1950s, <laughs> but I love this dress. Anyway, um, I'm not going to have another cup of coffee. I'm just not, I'm not going to have another cup of coffee, but I think I'm going to have some warm tea um, and then do the work I have to do. I'm going to do the work I have to do very slowly. I'm so sleepy. So sleepy, I'm so tired. Um, but yeah, I gotta get some stuff done, and I would rather get it done before all my doctors get here. Okay, we'll catch up in a little bit. Five ten. <laughs> um, I am finishing up at my desk for the day, but I'm still going to head over back over to the other building where the conference is going on and help out for the dinner shift. I'm hoping that I can be home by 6.30. That is the plan. I'm tired. I'm tired. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But you can put them down at the same time, right? No. But one you, at a time. No, I can make you draw four if I got two. Uh, uh, draw two. No, one at a time. One at a time. Okay. One, Julian, one at a time. Julian, come on, 
Sliced fruit. Yeah, but the very. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> you weren't supposed to notice that, Julian. <laughs> until 7.20 this morning. So I've only been here for two hours. Um, 
Um, it's been a pretty light day, but honestly, you guys, I didn't get home until 8 o'clock last night. Listen, I thought I was going to leave at 6.30. But that's around the time the band started setting up. So, you know, I just stayed. <laughs> and let me just tell you about this second hand of Uno. He got lit. He got lit. Anyway, last night was pretty pretty incredible the night before was incredible too sunday night um was pretty incredible too so today i think the conference ends at one o'clock today and then they're gonna take a tour of campus which i absolutely do not want to be a part of anyway um, i just got those beautiful flowers my manager brought them in for admin professionals week thank me for being part of the team they're actually really beautiful I'm going to leave them on my desk and I'll bring them home at the end of the week. So anyway, I am, <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say how I feel, um, but I do have a little bit of work to do. I just did some work and do some more. Um, I have a guest speaker coming in from Tufts University. Um, in two weeks, so not this Friday. Crap, that's not two weeks, that's next week. Okay, so I have to finish up his itinerary today and get it to my doctor to approve, and then I'll send it over to um, the guest speaker's admin. So he'll have everything that he needs to come in next Friday. Yeah, next Friday, <laughs> speak. Let me pull myself together. But anyway, it's going well. So today for Admin Professionals Week, we got those flowers. But that's just from our department. So system-wide, we have a gift we have to go pick up at 1 o'clock. Between 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock today, I have no idea what this gift is. So I'll be going over there to do that. I am also need to head back over to the other building to help out with lunch. Um, so I'm going to do that. But in the meantime, I'm going to sit here and work on this itinerary. I'm taking a few minutes because I want to document in my planner that I got this really sweet gift today. So this is what... This is just what my planner page looks like today. This is just the journaling part of the Hobonichi Han. So I am going to just take just some tape that's here on my desk and just kind of put it in here. Just printed this out. And I am going to, when I get home, I'll use some proper double stick tape. But I just want to make sure that I document this for today. I've kind of been doing this a little bit more lately because I was realizing that I had really missed doing memory planning, like with photos and things like that. So I've been doing that a little bit lately. I have a new niece. She's not a month old yet. So I got a photo on my phone of her and put it in here on the day that she was born. I also put in here, um, like I had those solar eclipse glasses from, I think the last vlog. So I cut the arms like off of that solar eclipse glasses and put those in here as well. So I always don't have a full page to journal, so I may not add it to that specific page, but I'll add it to a day that I didn't have a lot to journal on. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that in my Hobonichi Han lately and I absolutely love it. I love this planner so much that I've actually been bringing it to work with me every day this entire year since I've had it. I've just been writing in it every day. So I was so tired when I got home last night that I didn't journal everything about yesterday. So I'm going to take some time now and journal about yesterday while it's still fresh on my mind. And then... I'm going to journal a little bit here about the flowers and I'm also going to write in here how grateful I am for my job and how grateful I am for the employer that I have and how grateful I am for the team that I have. So I'm going to do that in here just because I need a little break. I need a little break. I need a little break. <laughs> I'm going to drink some water because I don't want any more tea. I had a cup of coffee this morning. I don't want that. So 
I'm gonna take a little break and um, just do a little bit of journal. Quality, quality control on this driver. Mm, I'm about to do some quality control too. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I wish I put it on the salad bar at work. Yeah, yeah. 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 They, they brought it one day. So we've decided that this is a picnic backpack table. Okay, so it looks like this. But it's a backpack. Is insulated. This is insulated and it has a bottle opener. So, this is a party. That's what this is. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I was just about to say, I don't know. I don't know what day it is. Um, my start time is 7 30. It is 7 10. So, I have like 20 minutes to get to my desk. But yesterday, I got to my desk at 7 21. My start time is 7 30. One of my doctors happened to already be there. So I went in her office. I said, good morning. She said, there you are. You weren't here when I got here. I was like, okay. You okay? I said, I'm fine. Okay. So I'm okay. So when I first started this job, my manager told me about her specifically. She was like, whatever you do, you have to always do the same thing. Because otherwise she'll, she won't be okay. And I'm like, okay, well, that sounds like a personal problem to me. So I've thought that this whole time. If you're not okay because there's change, I don't know what to tell you. This life. I know you're a scientist, but this life. You guys, honestly, she is a PhD, MD, and a PharmD. So she, she's, she's a lot going on. She's a brilliant woman. So I'm pretty sure there's some OCD, ADHD, something. That, some more alphabets in there somewhere. I'm sure it is, but she's she's a brilliant woman she's and i like her a lot i don't have no beef with her but um the very my very first second day i got there i got to work before her i'm talking about y'all my second day with the whole company i got to work before her and she went on and on for a way long time about me getting to work before her because it was not something she was used to and for a second, I was like, what is your problem? But then I realized, I was like, oh, she kind of melting down because there's been a change in her day. And so now when I'm not there before her, she melts down. So why am I sitting in this car talking to y'all when I'm not sure where she is and I need to get in this building for her? I don't know. But I just had to tell somebody that, all right, let me go in here and hope she's not here. <laughs> to my computer is world book day we got to talk about some books at some point today but right now i need to. i have two spin authorizations to do for two trips that are coming up for two different people um one of them is going to glasgow for two weeks for a class i think that's pretty dope um and another one is going to boston for a week for a conference so i need to put both of those spin authorizations in today once those spin authorizations are approved then i can um book their travel for them and so how i book travel is i just send an email with the specific details to the travel department and they book all the travel for me but the spin authorization has to be in first so when the finance department goes to <coughs> excuse me when the finance department <coughs> excuse me goes to pay for the travel that it comes off of the cost center that's in the spin authorization so 
all these little things have to be done first. So I'm going to work on that this morning. Uh, we don't have any admin professional activities company wide today. Our departments are supposed to do something for us today, but our departments gave us flowers yesterday. But I feel like one of my doctors told me that his lab is planning something for me, um, which is like, okay. <laughs> uh, yesterday they was like, Tracy, do you prefer chicken, beef, fish? And I was like, <coughs> I didn't even go into details. What I've only been eating meat for the last eight weeks. I just didn't go into any details. I was like, I prefer chicken. And then he came back later. Do you like vodka, tequila? I was like, um, I stopped drinking in December. <laughs> like, I prefer a good mocktail, strawberry lemonade. But he just had the most random questions yesterday. And he's not something, these are not conversations I've typically had with him in the past. <laughs> So I don't know what their plan is. I don't know what today will bring. But anyway, I'm very grateful that they would even think to do something uh, for me. So I'm not sure what today is going to bring. And I do have quite a bit of work. So I'm just going to get um, head first into my day. And I will catch up with you guys later. So as it is World Book Day, I will show you what I'm reading right now. This is, I want to say Aunt Dimity Death. Uh, Aunt Dimity's Death by Nancy Atherton. This is a cozy mystery that I've never heard of before. I happened to be at the library just looking for a bunch of books the other day and this one came up. Um, I was just browsing the stacks and I saw this one and I think I chose the first one. The way it reads, it reads like it's the first one. Um, I haven't been able to really get into it that, as much as I want to lately because it's a really good book. I'm only on page 31 and I've probably been reading this about four days. So I haven't really had the chance to sink my teeth into it like I want to. But it starts out where this girl's, her mom um, has been telling her different a story about Aunt Dimity her entire life. Like whenever she wouldn't settle down or things like that, she would tell her stories about Aunt Dimity to get her to settle down. And at bedtime and just all these different things that she just loved these stories about Aunt Dimity. And then um, from what I can gather from the book, her father passed away when she was young and then left her mom, who's a school teacher, to raise her by herself. And so now she's older in life and she's struggling through life. And her mom recently passed away as well, so she's really having a hard time. So she gets this letter from an attorney and he's telling her that she needs to come in because they need to talk to her about like um, she's gotten like an inheritance or something so she gets fired that day so she goes ahead and goes into the office and she is talking to the attorney's son and things ensue and then one of the things that the attorneys does is they ask her a stream of questions and one of the questions is that she has to tell them one of the stories of Aunt Dimity verbatim and that causes her so much anxiety she just passes out from it and so basically I'm at the part now where she woke up and one of the attorneys is showing her something new um so I, I'm really enjoying this book I feel like this book may have like a little supernatural edge to it I feel like Aunt Dimity may end up being a ghost um, I'm wondering how rich Aunt Dimity is or if she's just leaving her something quirky, but I'm very invested. I'm very intrigued by this, and this is her bunny rabbit that she had her entire life, so I chose this bookmark, <laughs> which is also a bunny rabbit. That's one of the things I just truly love to do. I love to match my bookmarks with my book, so um, there's a bunny on the cover here. Yeah, I think you guys can see that pretty good. And then this is my bookmark. So anyway, as it's World Book Day, we'll just talk about books for just a few seconds. But anyway, I am going to go ahead and get my day going now um, and see, do all the things I need to do. And we'll catch back up.
reimbursed from her um, French trade fee. Uh -huh. And I have to have the same operation since then. So I didn't know if you had any, any, any email. Uh, you know. Are those work in the same country? Okay, you let me know. I, I hate work there. I know, I know. I send the door all the same work. <laughs> well, I got like 300 notifications for every company to apply to get the first time check. Oh. Well, I'll tell them every single day. But they, there's no kind of operation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to kind of filter through it. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, cool. Now I know. I'm Thank you. Yep. going to work from home the rest of the day and tomorrow um yeah I'm over being in the building <laughs> I was I told my manager Wednesday yesterday that I was going to work from home half of the day and tomorrow and she looked at me and said I'm not gonna be here Thursday or Friday and then I said, oh, so you don't care? She said, <laughs> no. <laughs> so she's like, just tell your doctors. No problem. I told my doctors, they never say anything. Anytime I tell them anything, they're completely mute. They don't care if I come. They care, but they don't care, which I love for me. So anyway, I feel like it was a really good week. I'm, I'm about to sum up this video. <laughs> I feel like it was a really good week this week. Um, I'm exhausted. Something horrible happened in my family um, last week and Sunday. And so I am emotionally drained. I've been grieving um, for several days now. And so I have told myself that I would blog this week. So I kept my word to myself. I've been doing that a lot lately. I'm loving that for me, been keeping my word to myself. No matter how I'm feeling, no matter what's going on, I'm still keeping my word to myself. Just training myself for this new era of my life. <laughs> anyway, I um, was exhausted because last week was difficult. And then Sunday, in addition to that really bad thing happening, um, I had a work event so I went to this work event and I was like really trying to keep it together and I did really really well but I wasn't myself so I just let my co-workers know you know hey I'm not okay and this is what happened and they were like girl why did you come I said because I told you I would I would I'm here so that thing I got home late on Sunday night and then again um I got late home late on Monday night as you guys saw um and being to work early on Monday and staying late. I was on campus over 12 hours. It was just a really, really long day. And um, so I've been really, really exhausted this week. But I'm very grateful that I vlogged and that I went to work and all that good stuff because I um, really feel like my computer's not working <laughs> like I needed to. Um, I really feel like vlogging helped me kind of deal with what's going on. Um, I want to tell you guys a quick story. I might not be looking up at you because I'm trying to get my computer to do what I needed to do. Should we shut it down? I think we should shut it down. Start over. Um, I have been an administrative assistant for a really long time. I was thinking about it this week. I have a couple of licenses i don't have a like a four-year college degree i don't have a, an associate bachelor nothing um but i went to some trade school so i have some trades i was talking to someone one day and i was talking about work i was talking about my job and this particular job i had my title was 
not administrative assistant, even though I am an administrative assistant. They hired me to be an administrative assistant. My title was like a manager role, like a manager's role. It wasn't, but that was the title. So I was talking to her one day. We had been traveling for work. And she told me, she asked me, um, I said something related to my title. And she goes, well, what is your title at work? And I told her. And she said, you should tell people that. You shouldn't tell people you're an administrative assistant. Now, this is a friend. And she's still a friend. And I know where she was coming from. I know where her heart was. She's a degreed up person. <laughs> so, um, me talking about small things can irritate her. So, um, she was she was telling me that I, that's what I should tell people. And I remember smiling and looking at her and I said, I love what I do. And I'm proud of what I do. And I'm really good at what I do. I actually went to Concord Career College to do what I do. I studied medical office professional so i actually have some education <laughs> in what i do for a living and um <laughs> i told her i was like what goes on at your company if your admin is not there or if your guys's reception is not there or whatever she's like it's a bad day i was like exactly i have value nothing is beneath me as long as i'm doing good by me and good by god nothing is beneath me um, I have the ability, the know-how, and the intuition to be more and to do more. Um, I like my little life. I, I like my little life. I like, and this has taken me a while to admit because for a long time I was considering, which I am still considering getting a little bit more education in some areas, but nothing big. I, I'm not talking about a I consider going to school and get a bachelor's and all that kind of stuff. I got really close to that, but it just didn't feel right in my spirit. And it still doesn't. It's still working. I've been working hard this week, but the stress is not from my job. The stress is from my personal life, my family. It's not like this week was physically tired, but I'm not mentally drained. I'm not emotionally drained. Um, I'm just physically, you know, physically having to be up early and stay up late was just, but what I do for me is very easy. This is a very easy job for me because I've been doing it most of my career. My very first like office job was I was a receptionist in a chiropractor's office and I was in my very early twenties at the time. Um, I, I've worked in just about every, I've worked for anesthesiologists, a couple of chiropractors, cardiologists, family practitioners. Um, I worked for more anesthesiologists. I've worked for a lot of people in the medical field and now I get to work for primary investigators. I get to work for scientists. Um, I, I make their day better. I make their lives a little bit easier and I do it with kindness and I do it with grace. And um, I'm appreciated. I'm very appreciated. I'm appreciated in my department, uh, in my little pod, you know, um, in the company. I'm appreciated. Today, when we had our luncheon for all the admins that were able to come that are on campus, um one of the people in the c-suite was there and she was talking about how admin the administrative professionals day she was giving us the history of it. she said it was created in 1942 and that there are currently about 22 million admins in the united states uh, like registered admins i would say and then she read us this really poem a really sweet poem poem about administrative assistance and it was super super nice so i'm kind of telling you all this to say once you love what you do you you find so much peace i have been actively seeking out ways to 
make my life easier, to have a life of ease. My coworker was talking to me the other day about how she is aggressively choosing a soft life. And she said, even though I'm in school for my master's degree right now. That's just something I want to do for myself. She said, but I just, I do plan on advancing, but not if it's more work, Tracy. She said, not if it's more work. She was like, I don't even really care about the money that much. My man got me. I was like, that's right, friend. And she was like, but Tracy, if it's not soft, I'm not doing it. I said, you know, I'm already there. <laughs> so she's been fun to spend time with lately. So I'm aggressively seeking ease and peace in my life. And my job is one of those things that allows me to do that. Calm, soft, easy, 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 sweet thing. I love having my little at work morning routine. I love all of my labs, all of my teammates. I love my PIs. I just love what I do and where I do it. And I'm, I'm happy for me. <laughs> I'm happy for me. Don't let nobody else convince you that your life got to be big. If you don't want your life to be big. They not paying your bills. They can criticize and talk about you all they want to. And they can tell you what's beneath them all they want to. But if you are happy and at peace with what you do. Do that thing. Don't let anybody else's opinion of you dictate anything. Because had I done that, I'd be somewhere rocking in the corner. A manager somewhere. <laughs> That's not my thing. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. I mean, Like I said, I'm going to work from home the rest of the day. And tomorrow, so I really kind of don't have anything more to show you as far as work is concerned. Um, and then tomorrow evening, I am going to get my munchkin. My munchkin is going to spend the entire weekend with me. Her parents are going to New York for their wedding anniversary. I'm slick nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous to have my monster all week. <laughs> but we are going to work it out. I was like, bring her some oatmeal. Bring her iPad and her headphones. Just bring her bicycle. These are things that we're going to need to make her have a good, good weekend. <laughs> So I am going to prepare myself for that as well. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and spending these work days with me. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more videos like this. Can y'all tell I'm not used to saying this because I almost didn't get it all the way out. I was like, either subscribe or prescribe. <laughs> Hit subscribe if you want to. I don't know why. I don't care. I don't know why I don't care. I should. But anyway, I just don't. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, beautiful.